for those uh, folks that don't understand perhaps the level of play that that is and where it fits into the whole model, can you talk about what level is our U23 team? Um, what are the level possible levels of play? Um, and where do these players come from? Yeah, I think, um, so if I'm, if I'm going to go kind of the American sports analogy, mm-hmm. um, I, I, the, the under 23s is like the dash. The under twenty three is like the the, the, the grasshopper, the grasshoppers, grasshoppers, grasshoppers okay. Mm-hmm. Um, so so that's kind of the, the level. So it's minor league soccer. Mm-hmm. Um, you have the MLS, is obviously the best league in the, in the nation. Um, some would say then it's USL Championship, yeah. USL League One, mm-hmm. and then you have USL League Two. Mm-hmm. Our under twenty three is playing the USL League Two. Mm-hmm. So really, you could say it's potentially the fourth tier. In, in that pathway sure. um, so it's minor league soccer typically the players that we get are from local well I'll be honest not, not just local yeah. colleges they're yeah. from all, all over the nation yeah. and we have all different nationalities mm. um, you know last year Josh Perryman will be coming back this year is, is, is from the UK he's from Sheffield uh, Cameron Joyce is from Australia mm. um, we had um, uh, Jao Silva who is from Brazil mm. so we have guys from all over the world mm. and we have guys from all different levels too um, um, we have obviously the local guys who come from Wake Forest so Bruno Lapa who's mm-hmm. a player who played for us last year mm-hmm. he was from Brazil Joey Desart who went into the MLS draft this mm-hmm. year with Orlando mm-hmm. um, and then you know so we have guys from, from all over the world and all different levels whether it's Division 1 Division 2 or the NAIA mm-hmm. or even junior colleges and well. they're all amateur and they're all amateur yeah. yeah so they're all amateur players and they all have uh, what we call NCA eligibility which means okay. they're still eligible to play um, collegiately okay. so once they finish in May their school they then come and they then come and play for us in the summer months they, they, they don't hurt their eligibility and then they go back in their the fall season to then play for their colleges awesome and so talk about last year was your first year at the helm talk about how do we do um, yep. how did that um, rank in terms of the history of our club which used to be called the Carolina Dynamo mm-hmm. yeah. we've rebranded to Fusion so talk about how that year went yeah so obviously we, we we had a massive history and it used to be Carolina Dynamo now we're at NC Fusion so the Dynamo used to be a professional uh, f- professional franchise mm-hmm. and then it went to the amateur again and it's gone back and forth a couple of different times yep. but it was a huge huge fan base anyway we came in last year and um, we were fortunate enough to you know to, to win the league which was which was a big for us mm-hmm. um, first time since 2013 okay. um, so that was that was a huge huge win for us I think as, as a club and, and obviously the, the, the players as well um, because we were our league we then go to the playoffs so you play uh, a team nationally so we had to go up to uh, Reading um, Reading Pennsylvania and it, that was uh, it was 100 and 15 degrees on turf and we Jeez. played at 4 o'clock oh. and it was, it was brutal and we played against Western Mass unfortunately we, we lost 3-1 mm. um, but um, it was an unbelievable experience mm. you know I, I look back and I look at the players that we had on the bench we had two academy graduates on the bench one of them came on uh, which was which was huge yeah. as well so there really is a, a true pathway for the players uh, which obviously is excellent um, but um, yeah so that, so that was great obviously we want to try and you know continue with the successes this year and, and go back to back champions that's that's our goal awesome my hope is that, that that families can understand that and players can understand that because the culture is slightly different, yeah. you know, he, yeah. here in the States. And my hope is that we can kind of pack out McPherson and yeah. create a really exciting environment where the kids can come and watch some, you know, some top level, sure. best level soccer in, in the triad. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, and they can learn, you Absolutely. know, which is massive. So. And I would say as a, as a fan going last, last summer to a couple games, the level was excellent Mm -hmm. I mean it was fun to watch it was enjoyable to watch the environment was great I mean clearly the biggest uh, the biggest change we need is more people there Um, and I think that um, in a postseason survey we learned that many of our families just don't know that this team exists and what it what it does so you know we would encourage um, all our fusion families and their friends and relatives and everyone to come out for that that game 